Hello everyone, I'm Denise Love. Here's a little preview of what we're going to be doing today. So let's get started. I thought I would do some intuitive painting today and just make some, what I have in my mind is small, kind of grungy, urban-y kind of pieces of art. And I've just taped down a piece of 9x12 uh, Hanamule paper um, and I've just cut it in half and then in thirds for the long way and I just want to play and just see what we can create and maybe be a little grungy and kind of feeling like charcoals coming out maybe some water maybe a few of my little sew flats maybe a stencil and let's just see where we can go I had so much fun with this kind of brownish color uh, charcoal <sighs> uh, on one of those projects that we did recently that I almost I just want to kind of start with that and let that kind of guide where these pieces might end up because I like that it's water soluble and I liked what happened when we added other color to it so kind of thinking like this and then I might even grab a Kuretake watercolor, like I almost think a little bit of this color here. I'm kind of feeling yellow ochre. Not a lot, I just want a little, we'll get that wet. Let's get our Princeton Neptune brush and then let's start moving this around and just see because Oh, the charcoal pieces that we created last week with the little bit of the green and the blue. Whoa, totally some of my very favorite um, technique and the way it looked when we finished. So I'm almost wanting to, you know, duplicate that feel in just whatever color I was interested in playing in today and just seeing like what, where, where can we go with that? I mean, that's a technique that I want to play with really over and over. Um, just creating yummy kind of abstracts out of it. And, you know, like what can we get from a, maybe even like a minimal amount of supplies? Like, ooh, got some splatter. <laughs> Didn't expect that, did we? <laughs> Ooh, look at that, see? And then we can mark make on top of that and bring some of that back. Okay, I'm feeling good about this already. Can definitely like bring some back. Add some new marks on there if we feel like we could get away with it. But I like how we meshed it around some, so we've already got that going in there. <gasps> Ooh, that's pretty and dark. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, definitely loving that. Kind of sad that they have discontinued this original extra large charcoal block set. That's the original set. Now I'm kind of feeling like we need to introduce just a little bit of some of these other colors maybe. Like I almost feel a tiny bit of like green gold. Um, like I could almost even like drip this in here. And then we could, this is, um, this is a high flow paint too. Um, and I might take a palette knife and I'm just kind of playing and experimenting here. There's no specific way that I'm thinking for these, but I'm just thinking, what if I did this? <gasps> Ooh, look at that one. I like that. All right, so that's pretty cool. Let me, all right, I'm digging that. It's all about building some layers. I don't want it to be necessarily too busy, but I do kind of want it to just have some interest. Kind of feeling like maybe crazy hot pink. <laughs> maybe I'll, maybe I will shake this up could let that dry and then the hot pink will sit on top instead of sink down in. Let me grab my heat gun. Okay, the green's not completely dry, but 
the other is and I want like some maybe some sp hot pink splatter which I know sounds a little crazy but today I'm feeling a little crazy so let's just ride the wave of craziness Oh, see, so we got a fun streak on that one. I, I wanted this little dot dot, though. Let's see. This is my bamboo brush, and it's a little more... Ooh, that's fun. It's real fine spray. That was an option. Just kind of play in here and just discovering, like, what's going to give me some... Oop, I got a... Oh, good, that's on the tape. Ooh, that's what I wanted. Now, see, I want these little dot dots. I don't want the... Brr, but that was fun on that one. Oh, there we go. Okay, kind of, that's what I kind of wanted. So, what we could do, let that do a little bit of drying while we think. We could also do some mark making with graphite if we wanted to. I kind of want to. That's why I mentioned it. <laughs> I'm kind of like, ooh, just a little bit in here. Just some scribble. This one's water soluble, I think. Art Graph 6B water soluble. So what's fun about those, you can dip them in water and then you can get some really dark, interesting kind of marks out of it. Or you can let it dry and you'll still just get dark marks out of it. Um, this is the Art Graft one. Um, I really like this pencil. I've been using that matte graphite one that's like a 14B, um, but it's not water soluble. It would be really cool if it was. I like it, I like it. Ooh. <laughs> it's all about a little bit of grunge today. And then I'm actually feeling like right on top of this, I want to do some stenciling because I got this little set of damask stencils off of Amazon and I'm obsessed with this one that looks like a 1960s like like garden wall. You know those bricks you could see through? It looks like those. So I need to let this dry so I can do this little brick on top. And I had a spot on here that then got on the paper, so now I feel like I need to somehow get that in as part of the composition. So maybe we'll just draw some out here and extend the composition on this piece a little bit so it didn't look like something I didn't mean to do. <laughs> but I was thinking I need to get that big splot off before I use the stencils or it's going to get on the stencil. Oh well. <laughs> okay, so I like to really when you're drying stuff or you're waiting on stuff to dry a little bit, that's like the best time for ideas to kind of flow through and I, I kind of think I want to use my regular dip pen, just a regular dip pen, and some black ink. This is the uh, Black Magic India ink. And I think I want to do some just scribbles. I could do some little bit of writing in here that, you know, looks a little bit graffiti-ish. Um, I could put some um, botanicals that are just very loosely crazy looking drawn in these just as um, something interesting that maybe you haven't done before. So that's another thing. And I do like to hold the pen way back. I'm not trying to get something exact. I don't want it to be um, 
well drawn. I want it to look a little more abstract. And the further back you hold the pen, the less control you're getting over that pen. And I think that's fun. Um, so if you want pretty and exact, get right up there and be careful. But I'm purposely shooting for further back. I want less control. I want more organic. I don't really want you to be able to identify, say, the writing. And I want the, if you do botanical elements, I kind of want those personally to be scribbly and a little bit less identifiable and less pretty, for instance. And, you know, if you have trouble with scribbling, try scribbling backwards instead of forwards. Oop, I keep putting it into wet paint. <laughs> All right, let's try again. That paint right there is wet. Arr! But yeah, if you have trouble with the scribble writing, try scribbling backwards. You then don't get stuck trying to make it into a word, maybe. I like elements that don't look quite neat. I like the messiness. That's why I like to do abstract. I like blobs of color. I don't necessarily want a perfectly composed, beautiful, well-drawn kind of picture most of the time when I'm doing these, but that's just my own personal preference. You know, most of the techniques I show you, I'm just kind of showing you some of my favorite ways to do things, and you can adapt those to however it works for you to create work that's individually unique to you. All right, so I'm going to dry these, and I'll be right back. All right, I like where this is going, and I'm kind of feeling like I want this kind of retro little thing right on top, maybe in white. So I've pulled out some titanium white. This one is a little more solid, and I can tell because it's got the box filled in instead of the box half-half, like on this So Flat one. This is titanium white Liquitex heavy body white and I'm just going to grab an artist sponge and I feel like I want a little bit of white in here on these and I might not like it so we might not keep it but it's just in my mind oh see that's pretty cool it's just in my mind I was feeling it I was like I want to use this thing I might use this thing on every piece of art <laughs> going forward. I just get so excited with some of these tools because, you know, it's got like a little retro vibe. And I'm like, oh yeah, I'm feeling that little retroness that this one gives me because I can just see those little bricks on my grandmother's porch. And let's see if I can hold that down a little better. Um, yeah, because they had these bricks that you could kind of see through. We'd sit out on the patio and we'd go visit and I loved that. And I just want to kind of include some of that in my art as a little memory there. And I'm almost kind of thinking, okay, I love that. I'm almost kind of thinking we could even do black on top of that through like maybe some punchinella. Just a tad. It doesn't have to be a lot. Uh, oh, I got Payne's Gray. That's almost black. Yeah, let's do the, oh, I got raw umber. Oh, oh, let's do raw umber. This is those so flat paints, and I like them because they come in these yummy little vessels that are easy to work with, so I can just get some of that on here. And we can come through and just see. Do we like it? Did we not like it? Oh, yeah, I'm kind of liking that. Because remember, I'm going kind of grungy urban, doesn't have to be perfect. I just want to get kind of a yummy little grunginess in here. Might not be your favorite pieces, but sometimes I feel grungy and sometimes I feel pretty. <laughs> and it's fun to kind of create in different styles and see what did you like. You know what would have been good on these? That number stencil. That one with all the random numbers. That would have been fun. Okay, I'm kind of loving these. They're not super busy, but they're busy. Okay, they're busy, but they're busy in an urban-y kind of way. So I love the green, 
a little touch of dark we just got. I like the lines that we started with. Let's just peel the tape and see what we got. Let me make sure there's no weirdo colors on my fingers before I do that. All right, so let's peel that tape and we'll cut these apart. I'm feeling like lovely little grungy pieces today. Ooh. Peeling tape is my favorite moment. <laughs> Even though we didn't go edge to edge, we still have some delightfulness going on today. And I like how this uh, Hannah Mule paper does not tear when I'm pulling my artist tape. So yay for that paper. Got some paint drips there that I didn't even see that I had in there. Hmm. Okay, I'm sure these stencils aren't 100% dry, so I'm just gonna be careful. I love the little pop of pink. I want to love that neon pink. I want to use it in more work and I want it to become some more stuff that I do, but sometimes I just can't get it to work out. But on this, I think it, it was a nice pop of unusualness with that little pop of green. I like that. Ooh, and as we cut these up, now I'm kind of seeing some that I'm like, ooh, I'm digging those. <laughs> So I love it when we separate stuff. You can kind of put it in a little piece of mat and check it out and see. Ooh, see, these are yummy. Sometimes grunge is fun. Okay, so I really love this little bit of a flower that's poking out of that. So if you like botanicals, leaves and flowers and things, this is a good kind of project to do that with. I really like this one. It's an odd shape. And don't forget we can, ooh, see? I kind of like it better that way. And at the same time, I kind of see a dog. Do you see a dog? Okay, so we can't unsee that. And this one, yeah. <laughs> I see a dinosaur. There's his head and his dinosaur tail coming out. So we're gonna leave it like that. <laughs> ooh, I love these. Okay, so yummy, yummy, grungy day. Ooh, I kind of like it like that. Ooh, I kind of like it like that. Okay, so that one's going to go that way. I think that's the way I painted it, actually. How fun. Hope you enjoyed today's little grungy day. Can't wait to see what you're creating. And I'll see you next time.